Hello again. And in this video, we're going to take another look at colour. Colour is a really important thing in photography. It's what makes our images our images. It's what gives us our style our style. So it's really important. In a previous video, there's a link to just up here, we, we looked at sRGB and, and how to create images in sRGB that then would look consistent across a number of devices. In this video, we're going to focus more on our computer. And we're going to focus about how the images we see on screen are actually using the colours that we expect them to use later on when we move on to another device. You know, today's computers, um, we, we change the displays, we make the displays look super vibrant, we change the brightness, we change the contrast, uh, we might dim them down a little bit if we're working in a super bright, um, sorry, in a, in, a, in a low lit room, we might make them more bright if we're working in a bright room, um, or even outside. So all those adjustments we make to our screens they are going to affect how we view our images. And if you buy a monitor that's brand new, the chances are it's contrast and it's saturation is going to be super bright, so it makes it look super vivid. And, and that's the way the world is. And what we need to do as photographers is sometimes kind of tone that down a little bit and get that back to a standard so that when we do take our images somewhere else, they look the same and not just how we've set our screen up. And the way to do that is to use a colour profiling tool. Now I've got one here, this is made by x -Right. this is actually a device called a Colour Monkey. Um, there are others available, this one uh, was just over £100, but they, they do range from a little bit less than that up to you know, many hundreds of pounds. They, they all do a, a, you know, the more money you, you pay, obviously the better a job it might do, but uh, you know, get, get the one you need, I think this one was just about £120 or something. That's, for me, that's enough to spend on, on this kind of product. What I'm going to show you now is how to use one of these and how to profile your display. Very easy thing to do. So let's jump on the computer and have a look. First of all, we are just going to open up um, the, the product, Colour Monkey Display. And this couldn't really be simpler. We get a menu and it asks us what we'd like to profile. Now, the device that I have here will work on a display, a screen, and also will be able to pro um, profile a projector. We're just going to use this on a, oh, I'll register later. Um, we are just going to use this on uh, this, this little Apple Mac display here. So I'm just going to click that. Now the simplest thing to do is just hit next. We can do an advanced one or we can do a basic one. The advanced one, I'll talk you through some of the options here. We'll just click next. We're going to use the ambient light smart control, which is the first thing that the, the device will do. And we're not going to bother with uh, flare correct. So the first thing it's going to do, we've got the device plugged in into our computer and it's going to measure the ambient light in the room. So I've just got it sat next to the computer, as the little, um, little picture there says, I'm just going to measure that. So it's measuring now and any moment now, there we go, our room's ambient light is currently 717 lux. That's pretty bright to be fair, but we've measured that now so it knows the room in which we're operating. The second thing it wants us to do is to change how the device is configured. So we have a little option on here, we can turn it round the other side. And we can, once we've done that, we turn the bit unit round, we then have to hang it over our screen, just where, just in there. So you can see, I'll just bob that in there. There we go. And I'm just hanging it over the top of the screen. There is a weight on, on the cable there, which you can adjust if you need to. And this is going to hang it there. And then I'm going to click next. It's starting with flashing a bunch of, you know, fairly bright colours. And that, the, the little device on the front, the Colour Monkey, is, is actually starting to pick those colours up. And then what it's going to ask me to do, you can see it up on the top left of the screen here, is it wants me to change the brightness of my display. There we go. Now it's asking me to change the brightness of my display so that it's down at this level. So I'm just going to do that. Ooh, too, too low, up a bit. Now you'll never get this absolutely accurate. There we go. That's about as good as I'm going to get. And then we'll carry on. We'll just click next and it will carry on profiling this display. Now this takes about five minutes and what it's actually doing is it's going to flash all sorts of different colours at that colour monkey that's attached to the front of the screen. And as it does that, 
the software and the computer know what color is being displayed. And that device strapped to the front of my screen is picking up that color and it's measuring the difference between what it expects and what it's been measured. And then at the end of this process, it'll make some adjustments to my screen. As I say, this takes about five minutes. So let's just speed this up and do it super fast forward. And there we go, it's finished its little profiling exercise. Now we can now just remove that from the screen and we'll just flip that back round so it's back as it was before, pop that down. And we'll see now it's created a, a new profile. It's given it a name, we could change that name to something else. The name is normally based on the date. I will just save that, it will just take a moment. And then it will allow us to have a look at the difference that it's made from what it was before to what it is now. Here we go. So I just go next. Oh, and before we move off the screen, you, you can remind yourself to reprofile your display every every week or two. I, I tend not to bother to be to be perfectly honest. I, I tend to do it every now and again, but I don't let the system remind me when I want to do it. And here we are. So here's the here's the picture. There's a, a picture of a bride. And what we can see now here, we've got an after, which is what we're on, and before. So you can see the colours changing there in the image. As to the images, the pictures before and the pictures after. And they've got a few. I quite like the one at the bottom actually, which is the model with a check, sorry, the colourful one. Um, there's quite a lot of dark areas in here, and we can see the difference in the vibrancy in the reds and the greens. So there is just a few you can have a quick play with. There's a quite a dark image there. You see the image, you've got the shadows, and that's it. So then you, you click next. The very final element of this profiling exercise is about measuring the ambient light of your room. If you're in a room where maybe the sun comes through every now and again, and at different times of the day your room is, is lit differently, then you can leave the colour monkey plugged in and it will constantly, well, can I say constantly, every five minutes, it will measure the light in your room and adjust your display based on the ambient light in the room. And you do that just by literally ticking that box and leaving the, uh, the device plugged into your computer just by the side on your desk or something. Once again, I tend not to do that because um, the office where I work um, has got very consistent lighting and although we've got big glass wall down one side of the office, I tend not to get affected by um, light streaming into the room. So I have very consistent light in the room, so I tend not to bother with that. But if you do have changes in your room from, from daytime into night, then um, I would re very much recommend that you, that you change that. And then we click finish. And that's it, you're all done. You can now close the, close the product and your, uh, your, new, your new profile is all set up and ready to go. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, quite a short one this time, all about how to profile your display. I hope you found it useful. Uh, if you have, please give us a thumbs up and, uh, and leave a note down below. We'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please leave us some comments down below. There's a button just there as well that you can use to, uh, to subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to watch some more videos, try these two because uh, They've, uh, they've been picked from our channel that um, hopefully you'll enjoy those. Um, until next time, thank you very much for watching.